Hey everyone and welcome back. So uh, I actually have some news updates to get to today. We got behind in a couple of them, but I uh, definitely wanted to wait till today because of course we got the Arrow announcements for October. But before we get to that, I do actually want to cover a couple of ones that we finally got details on. As I've mentioned uh, previously that we are getting from Warner Brothers uh, two releases this fall, two new 4K releases, and one is uh, The Lost Boys and Poltergeist. So up first, uh, we finally have the details on these. So coming September 20th is uh, the 35th anniversary of the Lost Boys. It's going to be a 4K and Blu-ray release and it has a new 4K restoration of the film along with a 5.1 audio track. Now the only thing is I'm not really sure whether or not that actually has the original theatrical uh, stereo mix or not. I don't, it doesn't look like it does unfortunately, but it is porting over a lot of the ex pre-existing extras. I don't think there's anything new here. So it includes the commentary with the director, uh, Lost Boys, a retrospective, Inside the Vampire's Cave featurette, Vamping Out, Makeup Effects, Hamster and Fell Dog, sort of the two Corys, a World of Vampires, Lost Scenes, Lost in the Shadows music video, as well as the theatrical trailer. And there are going to be two versions, a standard release with this new artwork, which is okay. It's actually good if you know the film but outside of that you know and it's fine but again even though uh the original theatrical poster may not be anything um amazing as far as one shoots go obviously it's what i know so i would i always prefer the original theatrical artwork but there's also going to be a steelbook version a, a best buy exclusive steelbook as well as the zavi exclusive steelbook i think technically they're the same they look the same anyway i think one's just with best buy one's with zavi and again that is due out september 20th and also coming september 20th from warner bros as well is the uh, 40th anniversary of toby hooper's poltergeist and there gonna be two versions of that a standard release and a steelbook but uh, just real quick it's gonna have a 4k rest of the film a 5.1 and 2.0 tracks which is good that means it does actually have the original theatrical stereo mix thank goodness as well as they are here the real world of poltergeist documentary the making of poltergeist and a theatrical trailer i guess we're gonna have a standard uh, release with 4k and a blu-ray as well as a steel book and the same thing is gonna have an exclusive best buy steel book and the zavi steel book again they look exactly the same so i don't know if there's anything major difference between the two and both of those are due out september 20th 20th, the Poltergeist listing at $25.99, but I'm sure that'll drop before release day. And Lost Boys at $33.99, but again, I'm sure that'll drop before release day as well. Speaking of Toby Hooper, we also now have uh, the details on a couple of the upcoming Scream Factory releases, including Toby Hooper's 4K release of The Fun House. That is getting a new 4K restoration from the original camera negative, and it is actually going to have a couple of new extras. So it's porting over, I believe, all the extras that were on the Scream Factory uh, Blu-ray release from like many years ago, but it is going to have a couple new ones, including Let's Spend the Night Together, an interview with actor Miles Chapin. Chapin? Chapin? Carnival of Blood, an interview with actor Largo Woodruff. Dance in the Dark Side, an interview with actor Wayne Doba. Alive, 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 an interview with special effects artist Craig Reardon. And that is slated for September 6th and uh, slated for August 23rd, so actually not too far off. We also have the details for the upcoming uh, Screen Factory release of Dog Soldiers. Finally got all the details to that. And again, it looks like it's porting over uh, the extras that were on their previous Blu-ray release. But it does have some new stuff as well. So first off, it's got a new 4K restoration from the original negative uh, by Second Sight Films. Of course, their release, Second Sight, is doing it in the UK. So it's nice to know that both the uh, Second Sight release and the Screen Factory release are using the same restoration, uh, which has been approved by director Neil Marshall and director of photography Sam McCurdy. So there's a new audio commentary track by writer and associate professor of film Allison Pierce, as well as porting over the previous uh, audio commentaries. And then the Blu-ray has a couple of new interviews, including werewolves, crawlers, cannibals, and more an interview with director Neil Marshall. A history of lycanthropy. Thropy? Lycanthropy? Right? And that, am I pronouncing that right? Why am I blanking on this? I, I think that's right. Author Gavin Battley on werewolf cinema. Werewolves, folklore, and cinema, a video essay by author Mikhail J. Coven. We do have the details also on the upcoming 4K release of The Fog from Scream Factory. Uh, not really much new. It's actually uh, porting over all the extras from before, which is fantastic because their release uh, was pretty quite thorough. Um, obviously, it has the 4K restoration that was uh, done for the Studio Canal release, which was what, two years ago, two and a half years ago? I think, now the only thing I don't know is whether or not it has a new encode that was done because uh, the compression 
on the Studio Canal release Liffy and Spots. So I'm hoping that maybe they were able to do a new end code. Let's cross our fingers and hope. It also has the original uh, mono track, a restored version of the original mono track. And again, all the extras are the same. There's nothing new there, which is fine because actually it was, it was pretty thorough. So that's okay. And then we get to the Arrow announcements for October. Now, originally I was actually kind of worried because I saw a couple leaks uh, right beforehand and it was just like, oh, there's not really anything there. I was like, I really thought there was gonna be at least one big thing. And and sure enough, luckily it didn't leak because it's actually kind of a cool moment when um, I saw the announcement come up. So obviously I'm going to handle that title last because that is definitely my favorite one of all the announcements. So we actually have three UK only announcements and three that are both UK, uh, US, and Canada. So let me do one of the UK only one first. And that is the film Take Back the Night, which is getting a Blu-ray release in the UK. That's an audio commentary track with the director. Uh, please don't say the word monster on national television, a visual essay by film critic Emma Westwood. Trauma in Space, a visual essay by film critic Cerise Howard. What is a Body, a visual essay by film critic Justine Smith, Monsters Are Real, a visual essay by film critic BJ Colangelo, as well as the theatrical trailer and image galleries. And again, that is UK only. And that is slated for October 10th. I'm going to jump around just a little bit here, but next up is a UK, US, and Canada title. And that is the film Two Witches. That's slated for October 18th. Has a brand new audio commentary track by the director, cinematographer, and editor. A new commentary by producer Maxim Rankin. Behind the movie, a two-part behind-the-scenes featurette. An interview with actor and associate producer Dina Silva, The Boogie Woman, an interview with actor Marina Parody, Parody, it's probably per Parody, not Parody, the original score, an interview with composer Gian Giochino Marincola, I think I got that one, the piano score, the director talks about the inspiration behind the score, as well as test footage, a Q&A from Grimfest 2021, and a trailer gallery. Next up, coming to uh, the UK, US, and Canada as well, is actually a box set of Gothic Fantastico, Four Italian Tales of Terror, which is due out October 18th as well. And it comes with, let's see, Lady Morgan's Vengeance, The Blanchville Monster, The Third Eye, and The Witch. Not, not the more recent version of The Witch, this is a different film. And all four films have gotten 2K restorations from the original camera negative. So it's nice to know they're still doing a lot of these Italian films. I'm trying, have I even seen any of these? How much I love Italian cinema, I don't even know if I've seen any of these. I'm gonna have to check these out, or if I've seen one of them. I think I've seen one of them. Anyway, that was due... <laughs> Anyway, that is due October 18th. And then the other one, before I get to the final one, which I gotta admit, actually is a really cool announcement because I'm a big fan of these, and that is the Count Yorga Collection. And this is coming to, uh, again, the UK, US, and Canada. Slated for October 25th. So it's both Count Yorga Vampire as well as the return of Count Yorga. And there's a new 2K restoration on uh, Count Yorga Vampire and... The Return of Count Yorga has a new 4K scan from the original camera negative, so at least they do both have new transfers. If you've never seen these films, I uh, highly recommend it. Uh, they're actually really, really good. I think the original, the f at least here in the States, uh, the first film was put out, I think, by Twilight Time kind of thing. So it's like, you know, I'm sure most people didn't even know it had a Blu-ray release. Uh, and then the sequel, ironically, was actually put out, if I remember correctly, by Scream Factory which I'm now long out of print. So I'm glad that these films are coming back out and coming out in a new edition. That's actually really exciting. And then finally, the big one, uh, which is gonna be a plus and minus, depending on probably where you live, but that is a new 4K release of David Cronenberg's Videodrome coming October 24th. Now the good news is it's gonna be uh, coming out in 4K from Arrow, uh, which is great, because that means it's region free, but it is gonna be UK only, I believe in the States, um, I think. Obviously, Universal owns Videodrome. It is licensed out to Criterion. I don't know if Criterion is going to put out a 4K release or not. Or it might be one of those where maybe the license expires maybe towards the end of this year and Arrow will then release it in 4K uh, here in the States next year. You know, there are a lot of possibilities there. But if you're a fan of the film like I am, obviously you're looking to import it, which is exactly what I did. I put my order in for it. And it is going to be one of their deluxe sets. So we'll just take a look here. It's got a brand new 4K restoration from the original camera negative by Arrow Films for both the director's cut and the U.S. theatrical cut, approved by David Cronenberg. We'll have the original uh, mono soundtrack, audio commentary by Tim Lucas, David Cronenberg and the Cinema of the Extreme, a documentary featuring interviews with Cronenberg, Romero, and Alex Cox on Cronenberg's cinema censorship and the horror genre, Forging the New Flesh, a documentary by filmmaker Michael Lennick on Videodrome's video and prosthetic makeup effects, Fear on Film, a roundtable discussion from 1982, 
2 with Cronenberg, John Carpenter, John Landis, and Mick Garris. The complete uncensored Samurai Dreams footage with commentary by Michael Lennick. Helmet, Camp Test, and Wide Betamax. Two featurettes by Michael Lennick on the film's effects. The making of David Cronenberg's Videodrome, a 1982 featurette by Mick Garris. With behind the scenes footage and interviews with Cronenberg, James Woods, Deborah Harry, and Rick Baker. Video Oblivion, an interview with the cinematographer Mark Irwin. Pierre David on Videodrome, aka Jack Martin. An interview with Dennis Etchinson, author of novelizations of Videodrome and The Fog. Camera, Cronenberg's short film starring Videodrome's Les Carlson. Pirated Signals, The Lost Broadcast, deleted and alternate scenes from the TV version, as well as the original trailers and an image gallery. And this is one of those deluxe editions, so obviously it comes like recreations of the lobby cards, the, you know, poster, as well as a nice, you know, book, uh, sort of small book on the making of it. So there are going to be two versions of this. It'll be the standard release um, that'll have some new artwork on it and then you can also have an exclusive which is i believe two arrow i don't know if it's anywhere else arrow and zavi which will have uh the original uh poster artwork on the cover which is the one i pre-ordered i love that original uh poster and again that is uk only so you uh depending where you live so for example if you're in the states you are gonna have to import it whether you order it directly from arrow or there's a couple uh places here you can import it as well. Obviously, if there's a U.S. release on the line, it definitely let you know. So that's it for this news update. Obviously, there's a lot to cover. Obviously, I'm super excited about Videodrome. I absolutely love Videodrome, as I've mentioned before. It's one of my favorite David Cronenberg films, and in some days, it's probably even probably my favorite. Again, it's kind of one of those like which one did I watch last between like Videodrome scanners and The Fly. So I'm super excited to get a 4K release. Uh, this should actually look really great in 4K too. So still more announcements coming. Again, we still have to get Screen Factory's announcements for October, which should be coming up soon. So definitely let me know your thoughts. And as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.